it is Tuesday and I just ordered DoorDash from Pete's Coffee so it's just some type of egg and bacon frittata and then I got their version of the pumpkin spice latte I have not tasted it yet so I'll see how that is and I'm gonna eat my breakfast and go back to work it's 9 30 I am at work but Y'all, I've had a crazy morning, so ever since I got the new computers, I set it up and everything, and apparently I set it on a public mode or whatever it was, and it should have been private because this computer has been running, running super slow, and I'm wondering what's going on because when I had my old setup, it worked just fine. My internet sucks, but... It kept kicking me out of remote. It kept freezing on me. And so it was just a headache. So yesterday was crazy. And so this morning I emailed, I kept calling IT and I know I was being a bother, but I finally got a hold of someone and he remoted into my computer and he was able to see that I had it on the wrong setting. So he said that should stop the issue. So it actually has, I'm working. And in addition to that, someone was supposed to be at my house at eight o'clock this morning to do the insulation. I mean, my house is insulated really well, but I guess every five to seven years, they redo it just to make sure everything is working correctly. Cause I did notice like, I felt like some air around the front door where it shouldn't have been like coming from outside. So they're gonna weather strip the doors and I get a new thermostat today, stuff like that. So they were supposed to be here at eight and then no one, not even a phone call and then I texted the guy who was over yesterday. Then like three minutes after that, I get a call from a different guy saying, I'm so-and-so, I'm on my way to do your weather stripping. Okay, I don't know, it's just been a crazy morning. Let me get back to work, now that I can actually work. And yeah, y'all, you see this? I'm gonna get a new smart thermostat today. I'm so excited. Hey everybody, so, I had to come to the job really quick to pick up some checks to post so we are having to schedule times to go to the office I don't know if I told you guys this last video but someone that works like in close um, proximity to us tested positive and she got it from a family member so at least it wasn't one of us but what I like about my job is when someone tests positive, they shut everything down. It's like, you know what, go home, we're not playing, we're cleaning, everyone get checked and whatever. And I was tested and I'm negative. So the last time I had contact with her, I do remember the day that she left early, she wasn't feeling good. And we both had our mask on, but we weren't talking for no longer than two minutes. I told her to feel better and be later and stuff like that. And then two days later, that's when she, um, message us and said that she had tested positive so she's doing good you guys she has been vaccinated but she of course you know we can still catch it but she doesn't have it that bad so that's a good thing so anyway i had to go to the job to pick up some things and we had to schedule the times to do it there was a lady that was there this morning and once she left she let me know and then i headed in and so now that i'm done i let another lady know that she is more than welcome to go pick up um, whatever she needs and print out whatever she needs oh I had to print some stuff too so and scan some things in so yeah that's how they are handling it and right now we're just working from home indefinitely temporarily excuse me um, I don't know when we're going to go back on our hybrid schedule I mean I'm not happy that she got COVID of course you don't wish this upon anyone but I'm happy that we are at least working from home right now so let me drive while I'm out I might as well go get something to eat for lunch and then go back home to start working we'll continue working so I forgot to show you guys my new thermostat it's called a Google Nest or Nest Google Google <laughs> something like that and anyway it's digital as you can see but when I walk by then it will come on turn on like this and let's see I think I need to use it because it's saying that it's 80 degrees in here so nope not heat switch to oh you guys couldn't see sorry switch to cool and then
Okay, and now the air is on. So I'm back home, and Savannah's gone. But remember I showed y'all that he just sits in his crate sometimes when it's open? But the minute you close it, watch. I think he panics when we tease him or mess with him. Now watch. <laughs> He's like, oh no, you're not going to do this to me. Go eat. She's not here. She won't be back till later. Go eat, Boston. Go eat. I have nothing for you. Go eat. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. I don't know if you guys can see me that well. I'm not because my glasses, because the lighting. I am on my way to the DIY project, and I'm in an area that I really don't know. It's kind of like isolated, deserted, but our cars around, so I feel comfortable. Nice houses out here, though, but that's what I'm on my way to, and then um, she said we're going to be there about three hours, so... Stop sign. Turn left. I don't know what we're gonna be making but I will find out and if I get to take it home today I don't know if it's something that she's gonna keep to wait till it dries I don't know then I'll show you guys when it's done but if it's something At that we stop can stop sign turn left onto if it's something that we can take home today of course I will show you guys so yeah okay so it's much later well not much later just a few hours well, more than a few hours. Anyway, it's later and I did make something and I was able to take it home and I will show you guys that later. I think it's cute. And I'm actually leaving Walmart right now and I'm keeping my mask on because I'm actually about to go to Home Goods. I went to Walmart because I had bought a rug for the laundry room, but it's, it was cute, but I didn't like it. And I'm like, this is gonna bug me. I don't like this at all. I actually kind of hated it. Even though the rug is cute, I kind of hated it. So it's like, no, um, let me just return it. And I ended up ordering something on Amazon. So that's gonna be here next week. So yeah, you guys, just about to go to Home Goods. Hopefully they have something I want and then I am headed home. Okay, so I'm back home now and I just wanted to show you what I made today. So we painted it, it all started out like with the brown wood and then we painted it, stained it, distressed it and put the um, lettering on there with the stencils and some of us chose to put hooks on it and it has this little twine that you can use to hang it up with. Savannah seen it and she said, ew, <laughs> kids are mean. So yeah, it's okay, I mean, I wouldn't have necessarily made anything like this but you're in the class and they're telling you how to do stuff whatever and they want you to do it a certain way so that's the reason why I just made it so it's not that bad it actually looks like distressed or whatever so I may or may not hang this up in my laundry room we'll see but yeah that's what I made today hey everybody <laughs> so you know the artwork that I made over the weekend well I painted over it and it's not because of what Savannah said. I actually liked it, but because I wanted to put this in my laundry room. She didn't have any stencils that, you know, said anything about laundry or stuff like that. And when you are in a class, you can't say what you want to paint or not. That's like going to paint night and they're painting pictures of the ocean and the sunset. And you're like, oh no, I want to paint flowers or something like that. So of course I had to follow along with what they were painting what she was telling us to paint so I just painted over um, even though I love what it says hope makes all things possible and that is still definitely true I'm just going to paint over it with white that's just the first coat I'm gonna do a second coat and then tomorrow or this weekend I am going to get like some kind of stencils or some kind of lettering that I can paint on so I can do a different saying for the laundry room so yeah, you guys, I painted over it. I even took out the little nails that I put in there, but I'm gonna put them back in, so. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, and I am on break. I'm about to get up and make some more coffee and then figure out what I am going to eat for breakfast. Um, I started watching last night. It's a show on Netflix called Squid Game, and it's a Korean movie. It's not a movie. Um, it's a series. I think there's like eight episodes the first season 
eight or nine, something like that. And every time I watch a movie from another country, Savannah is always like, mom, don't watch it in English. Do the original language and then you can just read it. It loses translation and I'm sure that's true, but I don't know. A lot of times I rather just hear it in English. Sometimes I do, sometimes I listen to her and I'll watch it in whatever language it's in and then just read the subtitles. Um, but I didn't do that for this one. So it's called Squid Game and it's kind of weird. It's brutal, but it's good. You know how when you watch one show or one movie from another country or whatever and then all these other suggestions start coming? So I think one of the first ones that I watched was either Train to Busan or what's that movie the lodge something like that and those are korean films and then now all of a sudden not all of a sudden but then all these other korean films are being suggested on netflix and which is okay i like watching things that are not just from america so i don't know y'all didn't ask but that's what i've been doing okay so i get an email and it says training today at 11 30 and i'm thinking I'm in my house living my best life working. Why are you gonna call a training same day or whatever? So I read it thoroughly and we're gonna do the training here at home. Because remember the headsets that I had on at work when I went to training? We have the same headsets here. So I don't know why we couldn't have done the training at home that we did at the office a few weeks ago. I'm just complaining. with him. Boss it. <laughs> Good morning everyone. It is Saturday and I just dropped Savannah off to one of the church um, small groups that we have she's in like a ceramics class I think I told you guys about that and so I'm about to go to Hobby Lobby just to get a few things and probably just kill time until I have to go get her so yeah that's it and you guys oh my goodness so this week has been kind of stressful so a few days ago, I mean, I got it taken care of, but a few days ago, I go to get in my car and I started it up. It hesitated and then it started. And so I'm like, that didn't sound good. So I turned it off and tried to turn it on again and it just started clicking. And I'm like, oh my goodness, what's going on? And I had power to the windows, the radio worked and everything like that. But good thing I worked from home all last week. I didn't have to worry about going into work. And I remember when I bought my car, I bought extra insurance and I had roadside insurance. So they came in after work one day, they came and they actually jumped my battery gave me a jump <laughs> and then I drove it to Elk Grove Nissan the exit, then turn right onto and it was only the battery thankfully so it wasn't a whole lot of money when I was researching I was thinking that it was a starter because they said that when it clicks like that it's probably the starter which I found out under my plan if it was the starter or the alternator then my plan would have covered it but because it was the battery, I had to pay out of pocket, which, you know, wasn't that bad. I'm not complaining, so we are rolling again. And even though I know you guys didn't know all that happened, I'm just happy that my car is back in commission. And yeah, so I did stop and get my coffee from McDonald's because, you know, I just had to. I don't know if I told you guys, I think I feel like I did, but we joined the church that we have been attending and savannah's like my little social butterfly so she's making lots of friends and which i'm glad shine is more reserved like me it takes a minute because i basically sit back and watch people because that's just the way i've been my whole life i never just like oh let's be friends you know hey everybody Yes, I am in my laundry room. I'm waiting for the towels to get done so I can fold them and put them away.
day. Y'all, having this room done has given us like just I come in here sometimes just to look I find reasons to come in here I can just be in here all day you guys not literally but yeah and everyone's keeping up on the laundry and yeah it's a really nice room to be in and if y'all didn't see the transformation y'all better check it out in the video before see there's stuff on the wall behind me but yeah I look a mess right now so, yeah cuz I am in my sleep dress but my house dress whatever you want to call it I don't wear this out anyway so I'm just waiting on these clothes to be done that's a few more minutes and then I'm gonna fold the towels and put them away I'm trying to keep up on my laundry and have everything clean because I don't want it looking like it looked before which was a hot mess y'all yeah so actually it should be done right now and I'm getting really hot leaning on the dryer so the girls are actually at um, a church function for the young people good morning everyone it is Monday and um, I am working from home today well duh I'm here and I just ordered coffee from Pete's through DoorDash and also this like I guess bacon and egg frittata so that's on the way here yeah cuz I am out of coffee right now and I'm going to go ap after work today I'm gonna go to the store to pick up some supplies for my coffee and stuff like that but yeah I have that on the way and I just decided to bring out the camera and talk to you guys for a minute nothing important just rambling um nothing much has happened this weekend um Kehlani was over make it seem like she was over by herself but uh, Trek and Kehlani were over on Saturday I have my front door open so the reason why you guys probably hear the alarm on the car and then probably traffic going by it's gonna keep going okay it stopped let me show you guys what I got so I didn't get anything but this because Savannah wants to redo her room now that she's seen me redo the laundry room and she is kind of like old school so she wants like older things for her room so that's the reason why we went to the thrift store and we did get something for her but I won't show you guys until later so she wants to do a video that shows her you know us doing the room and anyway all that so I got this sign and it's cute but it's not all that cute and yeah it was four bucks and it originally came from Hobby Lobby and it was $11.99 so $12 so when I seen this are messed up but y'all know me I'm going to freshen this up so I'm going to paint this white or cream color or something like this and I'm even going to probably find out if I can take this off and paint it because I don't like the color that's on there now and yeah it's going to be a part of my fall stuff I do need to put my fall decorations up because it is October now so got to get that going and yeah um, I don't want to break anything but I should be able to take this off easily and then just be able to glue it back on but I'll figure it out later okay y'all so my order is here from DoorDash and I have a note you can give them instructions and in all caps because this has happened to me multiple times I said please do not place food in front of security gate or I cannot open the door place on bench ring doorbell thank you have a nice day and then I'll send the tip whatever so guess where they left my food let me show you right there right in front of the door did manage to get it without spilling anything or knocking the bag over but there was one time that Savannah ordered and she actually had to go around open up the garage door and go through the front to grab the food because it was that close the drinks would have just toppled over so yeah they need to pay attention because I I do DoorDash sometimes I haven't done it in a while but I pay attention to the customers request because you know that affects your tip I only got one this time because last time when I got two it was just too much it was like really filling and then my coffee so I'm gonna eat breakfast now I'm actually leaving Hobby Lobby 
back in April I made a purchase and I realized I didn't want those items so I never exchanged it and it's well over the 90 days and their policy is if it's over 90 days and you have the receipt and it's not open or broken or anything like that then it has to go on store credit which was fine with me you know that was my fault for forgetting so I just bought a few things candle and like some little signs that says grateful thankful and blessed and I'm just going to put that on my um, dining room table I'll show you guys later and paint it because it's wood y'all know I don't like natural wood color but I seen this and I seen this before but I had to get it because it is the truth it says welcome to our home please leave by nine yeah I mean when I invite people to my house I don't mind if they're there um friends who I invite they can stay forever so that does not apply to them but certain people yeah it's like don't overstay your welcome but you're welcome if I invited you here but it's not a clock it's time to go I gotta go to bed and you just gotta go anyway I'm just running errands I have to go to the post office next and then what am I going to do? Then I'm just going to go home, but I do want to go to Jamba Juice. I'm just like craving Jamba Juice. I haven't had it in a while, so I'm gonna get Jamba Juice and Savannah already sent me her little order. So yeah, that's all I'm doing y'all. Nothing spectacular, nothing. I'm working but I'm sitting here because it's very windy today like crazy windy you hear things flying around outside and just you hear the trees the wind rustling through the trees everything right it's super windy and the lights went out for like three seconds and so then I had to restart everything but my internet went out completely and of course I called you know Frontier and a lot of people in the area the internet is out so I can work and I'm just sitting here I want to go back to sleep lay in bed but what if my internet comes back up so I don't know oh and you guys so our bird died so we have no more birds and I don't plan on getting any more I mean I don't know if they were sick I don't know if well, I don't know if the first one was sick and then the second one died of a broken heart. I don't know, but they always had water. They always had food. And I just don't know. I cannot explain it. We kept them away from like the cold air. They did not have direct sun. We covered them at night. And so I don't know. I just followed all the instructions that they told us and I'm going to wash the cage out really good. Put it on Facebook market. Sell this cage and just get it out of here. So anyway, that's all I'm doing right now sitting here because I have no internet.
So Savannah ordered some vegan cookies and look at all these flavors you guys. She was so excited and she got this today and pumpkin and then. All thanks to Big News on Instagram. So What's it called? Say it again. It's like BDG News. Um, oh. They like link those. Okay. What she said. <laughs> and did you try this already? Mm -hmm. this Is it good? good? I heard her say it tastes like Christmas or something like that. But yeah, so we are going to try these cookies. At least one of each. Okay, and this is the gingerbread, nope, no, no, no. chocolate peppermint um, candy, cane. candy cane cookie. It smells like Christmas, it really does. I like it. Mm -hmm. That reminds me of the holidays. That's very pepperminty. Ugh, I'm not gonna like this one. She's it's opening up the pumpkin spice. one. She does not like pumpkin or pecans or, pecans or spice. <laughs> oh my goodness, this smells so good, you guys. She doesn't want me to show herself. They aren't bad, but I... Ew. Oh, you're gonna love that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it because I'm one of those people who loves pumpkin. Ugh. I don't eat okay. it, but it's... Let me put it back there because... I just want to take a bite of every one. This one is gingerbread. Oh, I'm not going to like this. My mom probably will because she loves gingerbread. This one is gingerbread. Oh, oh, it's a candle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's not good at all. She said it tastes like a candle. This one is walnut banana bread. That may be actually good. Yeah. That may be actually good. Ooh. That actually may be good. Proper English, y'all. Yeah? And if you guys didn't know, we're just trying the same one. Instead mm. of taking a whole one. Oh, that one's good. I like that one. Mmm. Mm -hmm. You usually don't like banana, though. No, I don't like walnuts. And no, then... remember what you told me when you was younger? When okay, she was, but I like banana flavor. Too. Oh, she likes banana flavor. But when she was younger, she told me she said, "I don't want a banana, Mama. Bananas are for monkeys." After I took a bite of a banana. <laughs> Some snickerdoodle. I never actually had snickerdoodles. You never had a snickerdoodle cookie? Uh uh. All right. It's like oatmeal, like cinnamon oatmeal. It's okay. Doesn't say oatmeal. It does taste like oatmeal. And then the and last one is almond almond chocolate chunk. Mm -hmm. Which I have a feeling what this is going to taste like. I think it may be good. I don't like almonds though. So. Um, so far my favorite one is the pumpkin one. I like the banana one and the uh, peppermint one. Oh my goodness. This is not going to open for that. She's having technical difficulties. <laughs> the almond smell almond mm. chocolate chip after she said Ugh. the chocolates are the chocolate chips are good but I haven't tasted any almonds yet well that one's good I like, I like that one uh -huh. mm -hmm. mm. Mm. I know. <laughs> okay so my favorite one yeah. is still the pumpkin and then the one I just tried the almond chocolate chip Trump. Hmm? Chunk. Oh, almond chocolate chunk, not chocolate chip, chocolate chunk. So this is my second favorite. Wow. And this is my first. So yeah, vegan cookies on Instagram. Say the name again nope. one more time. <laughs> nope, it's not on Instagram. The, well, the brand is Maxine's Heavenly. But Maxine's Heavenly. Is reposted, so I found out about it. Okay. So the brand is Maxine's Heavenly. So if you guys are vegan, go ahead and give them a try. I recommend so this because vegan. these are so good. And that's just me because I like pumpkin. Not everyone does, but yeah. I know I just showed you guys the wrist brace or whatever you want to call it. And then I didn't mention anything, but I'm okay. Nothing happened. But I was noticing my wrist was swollen a little bit. And it felt like something was under there. And you pressed it. It was kind of like squishy. So I went to urgent care. It wasn't painful. My wrist was a little bit sore, whatever. But I went to urgent care and they took x-rays. I'm fine. But the doctor said I have tendinitis. How do you say it? Yeah. So she gave me some 
anti-inflammatory cream that I've been putting on twice a day and then I have to wear this brace most of the day so she told me to take off work today to give it time to rest and heal ice it and hopefully it will go away because it was pretty yeah it just scared me I'm like what why in the world is there this like lump on my hand that's squishy what's in there so yeah I'm okay but if you guys see this for a while then you know anyway like I said I'm just home and I am actually catching up on YouTube subscriptions today and that's it for now there is power Turn it off before I get copyrighted. Anyway, good morning everyone. It is Saturday and I am on my way to my DIY class. Um, if you guys remember, I don't even know if it's on this same video or if it's a separate video that I showed you guys what I made when I went to the DIY class before. And it's funny because at church she asked me, oh, so did you put your... Um, picture up and I said yes I didn't lie to her but I just didn't tell her that I remade it into something that was more suitable for what I needed so oh come on car come on merge under the freeway you're supposed to get on fast not slow that's where I'm going right now and I forgot my wrist brace but I'm sure it'll be kind of hard to paint and do stuff in it anyway. I did wear it all night, so. And the swelling has gone down considerably. Um, it's still a little sore, but, you know, it's getting better. And I forgot my sunglasses. Yeah, nothing much has been happening, you guys. I don't know if I told you guys, but my mom is in town. And she's been here for about a week, and she's staying for a little while longer. Um, she was coming to help one of my uncles out with something. So she has been doing that. Depending on how many people are there, I mean, I'm getting more comfortable with the people there. So, but it still would be weird to bring out a camera. That's why I probably should vlog with my phone sometimes because it would be easier and I could just, you know, transfer the footage or whatever, but I don't know, we'll see you guys. Um, I know for sure I will show you guys what I made, so. Here's what I made today at the DIY thing. And I think it's pretty cute. So we painted it and I like dry brushed yellow on it. And I, we did everything and glued it on here and then made the little bowl, made this over here as well. And the only reason why it says welcome, cause you guys know me is because it's going in my house. So if you made it that far in, then you are welcome, but I'm not putting one outside. So yeah, this is what I made today. Good afternoon, everyone. It is Monday and it's after work and I'm in line for the car wash. It actually wasn't that long today. When I pulled in, they had four cars ahead of me and now it's just one, so I'm just waiting to go in. So after this, I am going to go to Jamba Juice because they have a drink called the Pumpkin Smash and it's seasonal, just like the Pumpkin Spice Latte. So I'm gonna get that because you guys know I do like pumpkin. I'm one of the ones who like pumpkin. I need an oil change and it's like literally like right next door from here but I don't feel like getting it today I can just get it tomorrow but if I get it today while I'm here I won't have to get it tomorrow I don't know I just don't feel like waiting I just want to do what I have to do and go home <laughs> Thank you. 